Man, Atlantic City is so amazing. I should have came here years ago. And what with all this jackpot money I'm getting from the slots, I can finally afford some new enhancements at the Sack Mansion. <sighs> that watercoloring hot tub shall soon be mine. Hey, jerk. You're not the only one who wants to enjoy themselves here. Bitch, you want to fight... Justin? Snake? What are you doing here at the Jersey Coast? I thought you lived in Colorado. And I thought you lived in New York. I do. But everyone from New York ventures to Atlantic City because it's the closest thing to paradise we're ever going to get up here, what with all the pollution and pigeon shit. Right. Can you hurry up? I want to play the slots. Attention. Due to unfortunate sequences, the casino will be closing momentarily. Huh? The fuck happened? Ugh, some dudes broke into a fight and one of them got shamed to the pancreas. When did this conspire? How did I not know? You were playing the slots the whole time. Of course you missed it. Ugh, I always miss the good stuff. Well, you know what? I actually know what we can do until they reopen the place. Hit me. So I recently found this video from some guy 827 where he responds to Ponder Sprocket's co-op with Half Boiled Hero. Wanna co-op on it until past the time? Um, okay then. the creepy hair on. I look like the kind of guy who sits in his rocking chair on his porch with a shotgun and tells kids to get the fuck off his lawn. Well, at least you admit you look like an idiot. Anyway, hello, Ponder Sprocket. I've read your unbelievably long comment, and this is my response. But before I get to that, I should probably let people know what the fuck I'm even responding to. Over a year and a half ago, this wonderfully dim-witted person named Ponder Sprocket made an animated video collaboration towards one of my videos. And it was a video I did on comic book artists and comic book writers who unfortunately need to kiss the ass of mainstream society when it comes to their creative works, in the sense of having to sell out when people whine too much about their individualized interpretations of characters and comic books and their different approaches to storylines. Yes, of course. Thank you for filling us in. Now, here's the pressing question on the mind. Why the fuck did it take you a whole two years to respond to it? Like, it's one thing if you were just finding about it now, but from what I can tell, you've known for quite a while. Bro, it's now or never. You can't just wait two years to respond to something. That's like plugging in an unplugged TV a whole year later. Apparently this Russell the Jimmy of this ponder sprocket person and their friends to the point they thought it would be amusing to make an animated video collaboration that I watched all of about five minutes of and turned off when I just couldn't bear the stupidity anymore. Oh, how original. You couldn't make it past the first five minutes. Not like every commentator or reviewer or what have you has beaten this cliche to a point where it's now thinking it has relationship problems. On top of that, the video Ponder and Hero did was a co-op commentary, not an animated video collaboration or, or whatever the fuck you called it. Welcome to the cutaway commentary community. I swear, if you make one Halifius here comparison, I will rape you with a torch. I'm sorry to break it to you, but that was a gigantic waste of your time. Let me guess, because they dared criticize you and tell you your arguments were faulty? If you wanted this to be, like, put up on a pedestal and appreciated, it really wasn't, because it was a magnanimous waste of your time, energy, and effort. Put up on a pedestal to be appreciated? You don't know shit about Panzer, do you? In every commentary she uploads, she leaves a note saying that if she did a poor job, then to let her know, obviously signifying that she doesn't believe she's perfect. In fact, not a lot of commentators who actually think they're perfect unless they're the likes of Kablam Bandicoot 64 or Gem 99 Show, who all ended up being pariahs and left the community because of their increasingly negative reputations. But... It popped up in my inbox. Once again, I decided to try to give it another go last night and watch the whole thing. My opinion hasn't changed. It's still stupid, and I think that your points are just recycled and 
had nothing for the most part to really do with what I was saying because you seem to have missed the point entirely. Recycled from what exactly? Do you mind showing some evidence of this claim or are you just going to expect me to believe you? Because Ponder's apparently this idiot who doesn't know how to argue with you. Because it's not working. All you're proving is that you're a butthurt moron. So I leave a comment on an addendum comment they make on their video which went as follows. This is what they had to say. I also forgot to make note of this when writing the script because I'm supposed to give a shit that they wrote a script for this or something. I guess that they want to be next in line for Steven Universe's fucking auditions for script writing. If you take a look at their art style, oh yeah, there's no way this person isn't a fan of that mind slug. Okay, shut up. First of all, do you mind telling me whose comment you're reading off? I mean, by process of elimination, I can only assume that it's Ponder since she leaves lying as comments, but thing is, she was part of a co-op. Hero could have replied as well. Second of all, what she meant by writing a script is that the co-op was scripted so that way they don't stutter, make contradictions, and overall just sound professional. Kinda like how you're doing the complete inverse. Artists have to kiss public ass on a daily basis, and they made sure to bold in daily basis because it needs that oomph and emphasis that I don't care they're putting in there. It's how we make money. Sure, there are a select few out there who have their work become popular enough on its own merits that they can effectively do whatever they want, but those individuals are few and far between. To which I said that's idiotic because there are thousands of artists in this world who have done their own thing to great success and to sit there and sublimate all of their own work because you feel a little ashamed that your personal works don't get much acclaim at all because you're wasting your time with this YouTube response crap animation. Dare she have other hobbies aside from doing your artwork. Also, have you not considered that times are a bit different now since less people nowadays appreciate artwork? Everyone's all into smartphones and TV shows, so Ponder probably has to grind each day and tear her hair out to make something that'll at least cross someone's line of sight. But what the hell do you know about that? It just it felt like a big projection, really. So, they responded back to me after my comment, and I'm going to read it and respond to it here. But let me point out to you, a lot of the points that they're going to make... Ponder identifies as female. Why are you referring to her as a they? Are you under the, the impression that she's agender, or are you just being spiteful? Because as someone who is actually subscribed to Ponder and also looks up to her, I find what you're saying to be pretty disrespectful. Point is, present yourself like a mature human being. ...are just mental gymnastics to try to twist their own words back into their favor. And a lot of this has barely shit to do with what I was trying to get across. So let me try to embolden what I'm trying to get across here in front of my audience of 22,000 plus people. And I'm pointing that out for a reason. I'll get into that in a little bit. <clears throat> XD, what am I talking about? Well, for one thing, I'm not talking about mimicking the styles of other artists over creating and advertising your own as you so claim I am and thus argue against here. Yeah, you are. With a comment that vague, what the fuck else was I supposed to infer from it? For real. The number of artists who have made it individually is piddly when compared to the number of artists who are still trying to do just that, and it's this difference in numbers that I was referring to. That still doesn't work. Because that's not reality. The number of artists in any different kind of medium of art that have made it because of their own individual mer merits is huge! Look at people like Banksy and shit. All that guy had to do was start drawing his stuff on the sides of buildings and shit. Yeah, and look where that got him. For the most part, he's a wanted man for graffiti, since graffiti is considered vandalism, which is a crime. He's had his paintings messed over by authorities, and police have tried gaining tips on his whereabouts. If any random person tried doing that, they'd be in jail on a moment's notice. Just because it worked one way doesn't mean it'll work everywhere else. And now people want to buy his art pieces for anywhere from 300000 to like a million bucks a pop. Look at all that obscure shit that people like Andy Warhol did. Oh, but those are different mediums of arts. And if I don't use that handicap in my argument, then I guess... Oh no, I'm wrong! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to burst your bubble, but you're wrong. <laughs> 
Because it's not like certain artists have to be specifically trained in different branches of art. Now, I can just pick up a paintbrush and make the Mona Lisa in five seconds. An artist doesn't just randomly become internationally recognized for their work. Yeah, they do, actually. There's no fucking set process to who becomes popular and who doesn't in this world. Is that why training musicians in small suburban towns become laughing stacks and end up just playing their guitars in parks hoping to make a couple bucks, whereas Metallica and Aerosmith are sitting on stacks? By your logic, I should be able to just jump over a sidewalk curb and automatically be qualified to compete in the Olympics. If people are grabbed, people that are fans of art or even people who really aren't, if they're just grabbed by somebody's work and it speaks to them, then yeah, that person can become extremely popular randomly for their work. It takes a hell of a long time for that to happen, and during that hell of a long time, we have to make money, and we tend to do that by advertising our skills and drawing things that other people want to buy. Well, I'm not arguing against that, but you were making the implication that you need to copy exactly what the fuck other people's work looks like and what it is, simply because people are too stupid to appreciate your own merits or something, so you need to kiss their ass in order to gain only material success, which sounds really conceited and shitty. Too bad what she's saying is true, though. People these days aren't interested in anything that doesn't fully match what they want. It's called supply and demand. When Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy was making the rounds, you know what everyone tried doing? Making every superhero movie just as dark as Batman, with the exception of Iron Man and the Amazing Spider-Man films. Why? Because that's what sold. That's what people were wanting to see more of. That's what execs were calling for. And it led to the superhero movie be market becoming too cliched and carbon copied, and it hasn't recovered since. Hell, in some ways you can say the commentary community is like this as well. Everyone is all obsessed with bop and whatever, so they beat on any commentator who isn't a bop member or doesn't do exactly what they do. And then, when you try to do what they do, people call you a bop ripoff. Do you see how cutthroat the entertainment industry is? For instance, if I'm going to a comic book convention, I'm more than likely going to sell p uh, prints of popular Marvel or DC characters than I am likely to sell prints of my own characters without spending years working up and accumulating a base audience. Until that audience is made, I make more money selling prints of what's popular. And again, I wasn't arguing against that at all. That wasn't even what I was arguing for, against, or even anywhere near the scope of what I was talking about. So why do you need to throw this in here just to twist your fucking mental gymnastics and your words around to make it seem like I'm the idiot when I'm pointing out the fact that it just sounds like you're only after material success and you're in kind of the wrong medium for that if this is your approach to it. It's not all fun and games, you know. You gotta be shallow if you want to make your dream come to life. Whether you like it or not, you still have to make money at the end of the day, and the only way to do that is to follow the rules of the market. Until that audience is made, I make more money selling pro care. In essence, kissing the ass of the consumers. Well, if you're going to admit that all you're doing is sucking up to them so they can give you their hard-earned cash and money, and it's no wonder why you haven't really gone a whole lot of places yet. That doesn't mean I don't use my own style or sense of humor in my pieces, but it does mean that I draw the characters I know will sell based on their respective popularity. Okay, again, that's not anywhere near what I was saying. I'm saying that it's a little silly that people like you want to sit there and defend a status quo constantly and don't seem to understand how that's futile and stupid and is why you're not being financially benefited by doing so. But it seems to me that this concept goes completely the fuck over your head because you don't want to grasp that reality. So you just throw in all this bullshit that has nothing to do with what I was saying. And to be really honest, it's funny because in a lot of responses that this person has made to other people, this is exactly what the fuck they they do every single time. Nah, I think she's just too smart for you. Green is not a creative color. Over the years. Individual, I'm gonna say this because the whole thing is bold. Individual artists can't turn into various writers or artists, nor can they spend 60 plus years creating an entire universe with various comic titles. We kinda need to eat at some point, mate. That's what a day job's for. And to be honest, you're just really showing what kind of real dedication that you have towards your craft. I'm a musician. 
most of my life I've dated artists because it's easier for artists to understand the kind of futile almost struggle it is to become a successful musician. It's just on par with trying to become a successful artist. It's an uphill fucking battle. So really you're telling me that I don't understand that hard work and dedication will get you to where you are and you're telling me that I don't see that you're not really 100% willing to put that in there because you're willing to admit that all you're doing is selling out to the lowest common denominator and kissing your consumers behinds because you just want their money. Because she's arguing that she has no choice, you fucking nimrod! To most of the world, she's just another face in the crowd. Someone they'll remember for like an hour and then she'll never cross their mind again. She has to grind to make herself known to artists and art fans. And since you're a musician, as you claim, I don't really know much about you, you should know how much harder it is to become popular. I'm a musician myself. Need proof? Fine. I can hear what you're thinking All your doubts and fears and if you look in my eyes in time, you'll find the reason I'm here. Notice how this video I uploaded it is a cover of a popular song. It doesn't even have 50 views yet, and it's been up for two weeks. I am, imagine if I had gotten with an original song. It probably wouldn't even have 10 views. In order for my music videos, or hell, anything else I do on here to get popular, I'd have to build my entire channel around it. That's not a good approach to a business. That's a really shitty, disingenuous, half-assed, and really loserish approach to a business. There's this other thing she brought up called connections. Connections are what get these people famous in a matter of seconds. You know a guy inside a record company? He can push some papers and sign you to a million dollar contract. You know a top chef in a high-end restaurant? He can appoint you as his apprentice in no time. You know a guy in advertising? Well, you know how the cookie crumbles. So rather than sit there and whine and complain and fucking lament that it's people like me holding you back because we just done get it as to why your financial success ain't really financial success, take a look at your fucking approach to what you're trying to do. I mean, I pointed out in my original comment, actually, you know, let me read the next section in this because it will really tie into this and it'll tie into what I said at the beginning of this. Regarding the comment section, honestly, what do you expect? Oh, what a shock. The people who actively follow this guy are like-minded and subscribe to his manner of thinking and beliefs. Who would have ever guessed? By that logic, one could say the same thing about your own comics, uh, comment section. Well, yeah, but there's a reason why you only have 718 subscribers and I have 22,000 plus. Oh, great. The ever-popular subscriber card. This should end well. Ignoring that half boil Hero has 718 subscribers, Nat Ponder, the subscriber card is one of the most obnoxious and egocentric retorts to ever get thrown around in debates, because subscriber counts are completely arbitrary when it all comes down to it. Look at things like ratings and comments instead. That's where real support lies. An example, Pi Guy Rules has 43,000 subscribers and is considered one of the best animation critics on YouTube today. Keemstar has 1.4 million subscribers and is widely regarded as one of the worst people on the website in the past five years. A woman with 570 subs can still be more liked than a guy with 22,000 subs. Stay humble. Bordering on 23,000. I don't waste my fucking time sitting there trying to think that I'm always right. Oh, sweet irony! You do. And people can't get behind that. I refer you to the answer I gave earlier. Not only that, but whenever my comment section gets full of differentiating points, you can tell when your comment section does. You can't because it fucking doesn't because all your comment sections comprise of are people patting you on the back going, Yeah! You got him! Nothing personal, kid! You know, that's probably because she's just that good at what she does and doesn't really require any room for improvement. What? Are you just so insecure about the fact that she has supporters that you have to dismiss them as brown nosers? Pretty petty if you ask me. That's all it is! It's stupid! Nobody's sitting there actually telling you, dude, this guy has a huge fan base compared to yours. Not only that, he's kind of an asshole, and you also might be wrong. 
No, they just push you to do something really ridiculous, like respond to somebody who knows that, I mean, in this particular circumstance, I know that I'm right. I'm sorry, I know that I am. I've been around this shit long enough. I may not be an artist in the particular facet of art that you are, but with musicians, it's the same thing. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm saying, and it's ridiculous. You stupid fuck! Music and art are not the same thing. That's a fallacious connection. The rectangle square fallacy, if I may. Music is always art, but art isn't always music. Because music is a performing art, meaning its value comes from people displaying their talent in a performance setting. Drawing and painting is completely different ballpark. No one pays tickets to see someone draw a picture. That'd be fucking boring, wouldn't it? The general point here is that there's different ways to initiate the certain medium you're dedicating your life to. A singer would have to make music demos, release them onto music streaming sites like SoundCloud and Reverb Nation, and hope somebody important stumbles upon it. A painter would need to select a style that they would work best with and put their talents to work. If they sell enough paintings, they could probably get shown off in an art expo. And I'm not sure if you know this, but there's a difference between writing a song and painting a picture. You know, you're sitting there throwing integrity out the fucking window, saying it's totally fine to do that, and I'm not in my right to say that sounds really disingenuous and stupid? Come the fuck on. But when it comes to the comment section, yeah, all your fucking cronies do is just pat each other on the back and say, yeah, it's okay, he may have been right, but you're still right. What the fucking fuck? Your comment section is a safe space. Alright? Okay, read off one comment that matches what you described. Oh, wait, you don't! Uh, here we go. Additionally, I kiss ass to make money so that I can do my own art. What? Just do your own art. So, so now it's money that's holding you back from being successful. Okay, first it was the fact that people want to look at what's popular first that's holding you back from your own art. Now it's money that's holding you back. Remember, kids, you don't need to make money off of something you made a job out of. God, what a fucking stubborn jackass. No, you know what's holding you back? You. Your incessant need to be material about everything is what's fucking holding you back, kid. And I will call you a kid because I watched your video and you don't sound like you could be much older than like 20. She's 24. Okay, so that's not necessarily your fault, but I'm just saying. But even then, that's implying that being young means she doesn't know what she's talking about. So I guess I'll just quit commentaries and come back when I become a CEO of a corporation that only adults can be smart. Screw you. You know, I'm sorry to be crotchety old man here, but I'm damn near 30 fucking years old. I think I've lived through a couple more experiences and been around the block a little bit more than you. Yeah, I'm not sure you realize this, but you pretty much made it sound like you're picking on a kid. So if Ponder wasn't 24, You'd look like a total douche. Green is not a creative color. As an artist who does make my living off my art, and by doing just that, you can kindly go fuck yourself. Well, I'm so insulted by the unemployed person who sits on their couch drawing pictures all day. I am going to deconstruct your shit. And that was kind of gross, I apologize for that. I am going to... <laughs> I... I am going to deconstruct your life to the most base element. You're a loser. You don't have a job. This is not what I consider meaningful employment. If you have this level of bitterness to it, if you have this level of, you know, it's, you almost have like a fickleness to it. Like you really don't sound like you enjoy it. Yeah, I have to kiss their ass because that's the only way they'll give me any fucking money, okay? Fuck you. Holy shit, you're so frustratingly dumb. Her entire point, her entire point had nothing to do with making money. You goddamn moron. Her point was that in order to be successful, you follow me? Success fucking fall. She has to kiss up to the closed minded and border building people who disregard anything that doesn't fully suit their needs. Maybe you should watch your video again. Or better yet, eat a fucking grenade so you don't have to make any more egocentric response videos. Can I also make a point about the CC using Patreon and partnerships to make money off of making commentaries? Wouldn't they kind of have to kiss ass to make money too? What you're essentially saying is that appealing to as many different drivers as you need is a bad thing. What, you want everything to be 
like a seltzer bird movie, only appealing to middle schools who think dick jokes are the height of comedy and are lambasting as a result. You could relieve all this pent-up anal frustration by, fuck, just work a part-time job. Then you'll make all the money you need for your art supplies. Don't give us that shit. Getting a job doesn't take 12 seconds. In this economy, jobs come as, go as quickly as they come. And there's no guarantee she'll be able to make enough money from a part-time job to achieve her goal anyway. Just because you were able to find a job in the 90s waiting tables doesn't mean it's always going to be the case. And I'm not even saying this to be a condescending asshole at this point. It just doesn't make sense for you to sit on your fucking rear end and work for every other 150 maybe 200 dollar commission but i'm sure that you'll embellish that because you can't be wrong says he's not trying to be condescending makes a condescending ad hominem attack not 10 seconds later i'm not a sexist but women specifically are disgusting hobgoblins who need to be hung over boiling oil and beaten with spiked baseball bats never thought i'd hear you of all people say that snake don't get used to it just thinking about that makes me feel uneasy you know oh and there's more to this too Ah, <clears throat> oh, poor baby, did you not like that people have a hobby that involves debating people on the internet and therein make videos pertaining to that hobby? Son, I've been around on this website since 2006. If that really anally frustrated me, I would have folded up this channel a long fucking time ago. Then why are you making a 33 minute long response to her video? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Don't make videos, uh... Don't you make videos ranting as a hobby? Well, yes, I do. Obviously, you're not as experienced with this as me because you thought it was a smart idea to go against somebody who actually knows that they are right in this particular topic and has now just squashed your commentary here like a bug under my fucking heel. Oh, but I'm not trying to be condescending, kid. Like I said, there is a reason why I have an audience of damn near 23,000 people and you don't. Yeah, because you've been on this website for an entire decade making rants, and who the fuck cares what else? Ponder has been making content on here for three years. You're pretty much saying that the first episode of Epic Rap Battles of History is better than anything I've ever posted solely because it has more views. See how unfair that is? Green is not a creative color. Gross. Essentially, just to say you guys suck at being artists and animators because of reasons. No, I'm sorry. I didn't give vaccines to your babels. I pointed out why I think that your points suck. And that's exactly what I've done throughout this video. And now I will say, yeah, you guys actually do really suck at being artists and animators. You need a lot of work. I hate to break it to you, but many of the other animators on YouTube that have actually gone places and have thousands and hundreds of thousands, if not a couple million subscribers, are at that point, not because, you know, they've got some big financial backing, it's because they're good at what they do. They don't waste their time doing this shit. People want to see what they have to create. They also had to start out small by making some of the shittiest things ever. That's how artists and content creators in general evolve. They need to find out what works and what doesn't. Van Gogh and Picasso didn't become legendary painters because they threw a bucket of paint at a canvas and called it an emotional journey through space and time. And Ponzo didn't become a high caliber commentator by always believing she's right about everything. We all had to learn from the mistakes we made. Not only that, they have a sense of humor that wasn't pulled from a fucking kindergartner's garbage can and is just the equivalent of holding a loogie up to the screen and going, Hey, money. At least she's attempting to be funny. You're sitting here acting like a giant stick in the mud, which is probably why this video is so damn boring. Uh, no, sorry. I mean, if you're really going to base my argument down all the way to you guys suck at being artists and animators because of reasons while writing, and, and bitch at me, by the way, for writing a lengthy comment, well, writing a lengthy comment yourself, and then they wrote another one after this. Uh, it's, just, it's hypocrisy at level red right there. I mean, it just it invalidates everything you just said, so what was the point of even including it? By the way, this video isn't animated. I do those too, so I should know that. I don't care, so, okay. You cared enough to use it as an argument against her. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, he just repeats himself and makes shitty points, so we're skipping to his closing statements. Oh, thank god, this video was killing me. 
Green is not a creative color. Anyway, I'm some guy on the internet. I am happy to be back, I guess. <laughs> I'm happy to have uh, started this off on a good note again. I know it's been quite a long time. It was about a six-month break there. A little bit of an explanation for that. Not only did I need a break from YouTube, I just needed to do that. I mean, you go six years fucking goddamn nonstop. Holy shit, you need to slow your roll a bit. Obviously, I'm in a new location. Relocated apartments. Moving and all that and their stuff. Not only that, I also kind of made the mistake of shooting almost a year's worth of video content because I want to do weekly uploads in the span of about three fucking months. So I've been taking all that time to edit and stitch and put all that shit to fucking together. Scrapping all the crappy takes, keeping all the good ones, that general kind of crap. That's where the fuck I disappeared to. I will never do that again. Because that was way more of a headache than I figured it would be worth. Oh my god. Oh, do bitch. Dude, most of the commentaries I've made have taken months to put together. That includes scripting, recording, and editing. I also had to rewatch the source video, revise my script, and check for any errors in the editing stage. So if you're getting busy over uploading fucking YouTube videos, why the fuck should I take your advice in becoming successful in art? So his video's over, and here's what I'll say. My god, this video was legit torture to work on. Some guy's video was so arrogant, hard-headed, and retarded that I required multiple sittings just to write that god fucking script. It was even more of an annoyance than the SACCOM and RTP, and you all know how long that took to make. Some guy, if you're watching this, sit the fuck down and listen, and listen real good. Your disgusting hypocrisy and egotism is what will ultimately prevent anything you say from being taken seriously. You claim Ponzer never admits she's wrong and wastes her time bitching at people, yet here you are being a complete god complex dickweed who thinks he knows everything about the art industry and putting down anyone who dares to question your knowledge or lack their fucking of. This half hour unscripted shit fest perfectly exemplifies why I shouldn't bother checking out your channel because I don't even want to begin to think of what else I'm going to fucking find on there. Go fuck a dog, you pompous fuckhead. Well then, since you more or less said everything that needed to be said, I'll just end my side of the argument with this. This video was boring, self blowjobby, and all around says think of me as a god peasant and shut up. You know, I never thought I'd take a saying from Doodle, but try again. Well, glad we got that done. Attention, the situation has been resolved. The casino is reopening and you may continue to enjoy your night. Hey Justin, wanna play Slice together? Never thought you'd ask, buddy. But I never thought that it'd be so simple, but I found a way, I found a way. Wow, I am raking in the goods. Who knew I was so good at poker? Dude, we have a problem! Get to the RV! What? Why? I'm having so much fun. You're gonna flap your lips or are you gonna do what I say? Alright, fine, let's go. Okay, so what the hell happened? Did you go broke or something? Oh no, I won like 40 million dollars tonight. Then why are you in such a panic? Well, there's a slight possibility that I may or may not have had sex with a minor. You did what? Who else but Nile? I'm Nile, Nile. You never really know what I'm gonna do next time. Nile, Nile. Giggity, giggity, please don't sue. <laughs>